Hey everyone, and welcome to Learning Words for Kids Game Spotlights. This is a new series where we will be walking through some of your favorite games and talking about how playing them can help you get better at real world skills. If you want to know more about how to take your gameplay to the next level, visit learningwordsforkids.com and learn more about how video games could be part of a balanced play diet. Today, we're going to be talking about Game Dev Story. If you like idle games and want to pretend like you're running your own game developing studio, this title has everything you need. Players name their studio, hire employees, design games, and train their employees using experience points. When your studio has a game completed, you can go to conventions to promote your product, advertise, and even win awards with cash prizes. As you continue to create games, you can move into larger studios, hire more people, and branch out with different types of creations, like making your own company console. Game Dev Story is an idle game, but a lot of executive functioning skills are required for your studio to succeed. All of the resources you have in the game are limited. You have experience, money, and development points that all need to be planned for and spent wisely. Investing too much into a game financially but not focusing on professional development may lead to a poor release and less money for your company. Spending too much money on game development may drain your company of resources, forcing you to take other jobs to earn money or even cancel the game you're developing. Players also need to be organized to make sure that they have a balanced studio. If you have too many coders and not enough writers, your games will not succeed. Having employees who are spread out in their talents will ensure that your studio is making great progress towards winning at the Game Awards and expanding your company. What is the name of your company in Game Dev Story? What kind of games does your company focus on? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see new reviews and playthroughs every week. Well, that's all the time we have for today. But be sure to join us for the next Game Spotlight at learningwordsforkids.com.